everyone. Glad to see you again. Today, we are going to learn the general introduction of prescription. The formation of prescription has undergone a long history. As early as in the Chinese primitive society, our ancestors discovered herbs to cure disease when they are seeking their foods. At the beginning, they only used a single herbs, but during the long clinical practice, they recognized that a recipe composed of two or more drugs proved more effective for treating a disease. Thus, various prescriptions were gradually formed. Then, that is the origin of prescription. Then, later, our ancestors began to study the compatibility of herbs, which forms the prescriptions. So, prescriptions is a subject dealing with treatment methodology, and the theories of compatibility in prescriptions, as well as the clinical application. So, for every prescription. We will mainly focus on the three parts: the treating methods, the compatibility in prescriptions, and the clinical application. In TCM, prescription is one of the important basic courses and has a close relationship with all other clinical branches. Linking up the basic theories with clinical practice, a prescription is composed of selected drugs and suitable dose based on syndrome differentiation for etiology. The composition of a prescription is accordance with the principles of formulating a prescription. For a prescription, it may contain composition, modification, and methods of decocting drugs, which will affect the therapeutic effects of the prescription definitely. Today, we will make a brief introduction to those four parts: composition of prescription, how to make. Rational, effective prescription with different drugs. It should contain the follows: first, accurate syndrome differentiation; second, establishment of the therapeutic method; third, the appropriate choice of drugs and dose. Last but not least, following the peculiar principle of Monarch. Jun, Minister Chen, Adjutant Zuo, and Guide Shi drugs in a prescription. Monarch Jun, Minister Chen, Adjutant Zuo, and Guide Shi drugs. What are them? Now we will explain them one by one. Monarch drug, being an essential ingredient in a prescription. It plays leading curative role, aiming at the cause or the main syndrome of a disease. For example, in prescription of Ma Huang Tang, Ma Huang is the monarch drug for expelling wind cold. Minister drug, it helps strengthen the curative effect of the monarch drug, such as Gui Zhi in Ma Huang Tang. Helping Ma Huang to expelling when cold. Adjuvant drug. It refers to first the ingredient to cooperate with the monarch and minister drugs to strengthen the therapeutic effects or treat the accompanying disease or syndromes. Second, to inhibit the drastic effects or. Toxicity of the monarch and minister drugs. Third, to possess the 
properties and flavor opposite to those of the Monarch drug, but play supplementing effect in the treatment when serious disease due to excessive pathogenic factors make patients refuse the drug. For example, Xingren is capable of relieving stagnating long qi to enhance the effect of relieving cough and asthma in Ma Huang Tang. Guiding drug. First, the ingredient leading the other drugs in the prescription to the affected part. Second, the ingredient regulating the properties of other drugs in the prescription. For example, Gan Cao is capable of mediating drug properties and invigorating qi and enriching middle energizer so as to prevent Ma Huang and Gui Zhi from inducing excessive sweating to impair the renal qi in Ma Huang Tang. The principle of forming a recipe shows that drugs in a prescription have their own effect in the order of the monarch, minister, adjuvant, and the guiding drugs. The drugs in a recipe are related to one another. The monarch and the minister drugs cooperate with each other. The adjuvant drug coordinates or inhibits the monarch and the minister drugs, ensuring the optimum effect of the recipe by means of a supplementary or opposite relationship. In the clinical application of the prescription, it is necessary to modify the recipe flexibly under the guidance of the treating principle and in accordance with the condition of illness, constitution, age, sex of the patient, and the occurrence season. Climates as well as patient's habits. The ways to modifying the herbs are as follows. Modification of drugs, modification of dosage, and modification of forms. Let's learn them one by one. First, modification of drugs. It means subtracting some unsuitable drugs in the original prescription or adding some necessary drugs that are not in the original prescription to meet the needs of treatment. For example, first, modification of the adjuvant drug, such as Si Junzi Tang at Chen Pi named Yi Gong San. Second, modification of monarch and minister drugs, such as Ma Huang Tang decrease Gui Zhi named San Ao Tang. Third, change the monarch drug by adding some other drugs, such as Xiao Cheng Qi Tang modified Ho Pu as monarch drug by adding its dosage. Next, modification of dosage. It refers to increasing or decreasing the dosage of a drug in an established prescription without any change in its ingredients so as to change its potency or even its compatibility as well as its action and indication. For example, Xiao Cheng Qi Tang is applied for excise syndrome of Yang Ming Fu due to heat accumulation manifested with hectic fever, delirium, constipation, abdominal pain, and tenderness. In it, the monarch drug is Dai Huang, 4 Liang, equals 120 gram. 
the minister drugs as zhi shi, three bars, equals 15 grams. The advent drug as hope, two liang, equals 60 grams. Well, when hope are added to eight liang, equals 240 grams, it will become the monarch drug. And the zhi shi added to five balls equals 25 grams as minister drugs. Dai Huang modified to be advent drug. It is named Hopu San Wu Tang, applied for constipation due to qi stagnation manifested with abdominal fullness and constipation. Last Modification of forms. The forms of a prescription is closely related to its actions. Prescriptions with the same ingredients and doses, but with different forms, will have different actions and indications. Generally speaking, decoction of a prescription is having quick and drastic effect, while pill and bottles of the same prescription will have slow action and persistent effect. They can be selected clinically as needed. We will continue the last part of this section, methods of decocting drugs. Of all the prescription forms mentioned, decoction is most commonly used. It is preferable to use an earthen drug or pot for decocting drugs. While iron or copper wires are forbidden, because some drugs when heated together with iron or copper may generate sediment. The fire for decocting drugs includes mild fire and strong fire. Usually, strong fire is used until the water boils, followed by mild fire for certain duration. The drugs are decocted after they have been thoroughly soaked for 20 to 30 minutes. Special decocting methods should be noted in the prescription. Some need decocted first, such as foods or mu li. Some need decocted later, such as bo he, sha ren, and some need decocted wrapped, such as xin yi. Shells and minerals should be broken up and decocted first for about 20 minutes before adding other drugs. Some drugs may with sand or mud, such as zao xin tu, baked earth, should all be decocted first to get their clear choice, in which other drugs are decocted. Aromatic drugs such as bo he and sha ren are to put into the mixture and decoct it only for about three minutes. Some drugs should be wrapped in a small bag before they are decocted together with other drugs in case they may make the decoction turbid. Produce irritation to the throat or stick to the pot bottom, such as xin yi and zao xin tu. Some rare and expensive drugs should be simmered or decocted separately so as to prevent their active elements. Some glutinous, sticky, and easily dissolved drugs should be dissolved 
by heating them separately so as to prevent them from sticking to the pot, such as lu jiao shuang and e jiao. Some aromatic or rare drugs, which are not suitable for heating or boiling, should be smashed into fine powder to be taken after infuse in medicinal solution. Such as Shexiang and Niu Huang. That's all for today. See you next time. <laughs>